Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Gaussian curve. Uh, in Excel, you know, it's kind of the bell curve that we see every time. Um, so in statistics, so first we're going to, um, so I'm going to show you how to build this, but I'm going to give you the file uh, in the end. So the file is going to be right below the video. There's going to be a link for you so you can download it uh, and uh, follow with me with all the formulas. So first, um, so first we need the x axis, you know, like the horizontal axis, and uh, we're going to need uh, we're going to take start at minus three, uh, minus two point nine. Why am I um, using these values for starters? Is because uh, at minus three standard deviation, the Gauss curve is almost zero, so uh, so it would be the the smallest number that we need to display on the curve. So now I'm going to display this up until three. And I'm going too far to three like this. Because uh, I don't need to go this far. So, so this is all the axis that we need on the x axis. And on the Z, actually, what we're going to compute it's a Z score. Um, so it's how far we are in terms of uh, standard deviation, and uh, the function that we're going to use to uh, compute which value to display on the graph is um, norm dot s dot dist of uh, the x value. Uh, and what we we're going to use is the probability density function uh, because we want to see the bell curve, not the progressive sum of the bell curve. Um, and we're going to put that in the whole uh, in the whole um, in the whole table. You see that the max is at zero, and now we can uh, use a, a graph. We we're going to insert. Insert insert a chart. Uh, what did I do? I have to select this, so we can display uh, several kind of charts. We can display a Gaussian curve like this. That's what we're going to do. You can choose as well to um, to display uh, other kinds of charts. For example, uh, as a histogram like this. You know, it's up to you. We're gonna keep the the, the bell curve like this. Um, here it's going to be between 0 and 1, minus 3 and 3. So now if you want to make a custom uh, ghost chart, actually you're going to have to... Um, you're going to have to make a different axis because it's not going to be centered around the same values. So here, for example, I'm going to start at 0, 1 and... Um, and go down there. This um, uh, what do we want to do? Um, so, for example, if we want to st to um, center it around five, means that the mean is the mean is going to be five. And the standard deviation, maybe we can put two. And so to compute the z-score each time, we have to take norm est dist. But this time we don't use the x value. We use uh, x minus the mean because we want to center it around the mean. And we divide it by the standard deviation and this is going to give us and yeah we have we need another parameter which is the probably probability density function uh, and this is going to give us the values that now we can use in the chart insert 
So we're going to insert uh, a scatter like this. We're going to display the points. So here the thing is that it's, uh, I go too far actually. I'm going to go from minus, uh, minus five, minus, or oh, yeah, minus, uh, minus five, plus, plus one. Yeah, I'm going to send it, and uh, here we see that it's centered around 5, and uh, that the, it's more or less, you know, the uh, thing is now we can expand the standard deviation and see that when we, uh, imp we increase the standard deviation, um, well, the bell kind of becomes fatter, you know, the tail is becoming the... Um, it expands on the, on the left and on the right, and if you decrease the... Um, standard deviation, you see that all the values get more centered around the mean. So that's how you can make uh, your own bell curves in Excel. Uh, I'll let you download the file, it's going to be right below the video. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to uh, be notified as soon as I publish it. See you tomorrow champions, ciao!